Hello, this is the review of the Namiki Nippenard in the Dragon Maquillet finish. I made an unboxing of this pen in my channel where I did size comparisons to other pens and nib comparisons if you want to check it out. So in this review, I will just be going over the pen itself after using it for about two weeks and a writing sample. So let's get into it. So on the pen, there's a Namiki logo and it says Namiki. And the pen itself is pretty stiff. I would not recommend using this as daily because it might damage the lacquer every time you pen it on thin it. And the finish itself is just gorgeous. And this is the group logo for the artists that make the finish. This is so not it's not just one artist that does the entire pen and yeah let's just get into the nib itself so this is a 14 karat medium nib it says Namiki on it the logo and the Mount Fuji on it on the side not sure if you can see it Yeah, but on the side it says 1219, just means December 2019 is the year it was made. It's a plastic feed. And yeah, the grip section is very tapered down, but does flare out a little bit right there. But it's still a very small grip section. But the uh, Wedges right here are not sharp at all, so you could hold it like I do and should not be a problem. Okay, then this is a cartridge converter pen. It holds a CON70. This is one of the, oops, more premium CON70s. This is the black CON70. And I have the Irashizuku Momichi ink in there. This converter is great for holding a lot of ink, but it's a pain to clean though. You can post this pen, which I would not recommend because you might damage the lacquer. So I'm not gonna try and post it, but it's a pretty long pen in comparison. But yeah, I can show the show like uh, M800 for size comparisons. So this is how M800 is holding my hand. It's a more thicker pen. And whereas this is a lot slimmer. And this might be a problem for a lot of people who are used to holding bigger pens. So let's get right into the writing sample. Is my poor handwriting. This is a very, very smooth pen with slight feedback, but it's a good type of feedback, if you know what I mean. 
and there's some line variation, not many. This is a soft nip, but it's not a springy nip. And I would not recommend going beyond this thickness. It's just a medium after all. This is a Japanese medium as well, so it's a lot finer than Western counterparts. But yeah, this is a very smooth nib. It's a joy to write with. Okay, so. I can do some uh, comparisons to other pens if you guys have now checked out my other video. So I have here Custom 23, uh, Namiki, the 149. 1911 large from Sailor. I just want to make sure people realize how thin this pen is because I did not realize this when I got this. So it's 911. Do you see how slimmer it is? This is the custom 23. Yeah, this is quite a slim pen. And that's when I'll get into the pros and cons of getting this pen. Oops. Okay, so yeah, the Pros and cons of owning this pen. It is a rather expensive pen. The MSRP, the retail value is like seven fifty. I was able to get this for four seventy on Amazon, brand new, and that's a great deal, I think. But one of the downsides of this is this is to me a very slim pen, so I might return it. Or, yeah, or just sell it because I'm used to holding bigger pens. And although this is a great pen to write with, the writing experience is great. It's just how it fits on my hand. It's a little bit too slim. and But it's not just uncomfortable. Like, the Mobile 149, even though it's a way bigger pen, this is a very comfortable pen. Like, it's a lot thicker, but way more comfortable than this. And yeah, that might that might not be a problem for a lot of people who have normal sized hands, which I would consider my hands to be normal in terms of not that big. So maybe it's just my preferences, but it's just the how slim it is a problem for me. But if you like slimmer pens, then I would recommend this pen. And the finish itself is just gorgeous. So anyone who gets this uh, would most likely get it for the Maki finish and the, the nib itself. I mean, the most important part of the pen is the writing experience. And the writing experience is great. So it shouldn't be a problem when it comes to how it writes. It's just the dimensions of the pen. I have another slim pen that I could show as comparison. I'm sure if anyone knows about Grandfather and Paper Castell Classic. So this is a this is a rather thin pen as well, which I which is really comfortable for me. But this feels more like because this place is way more tapered down and flares out, so it feels a lot better than this one although this is a lot lighter so it just comes down to like preferences maybe i feel this is a little bit weird because it's way too light and it's too slim whereas this is just as slim if anything but it's way more balanced in terms of weight so it feels more comfortable so when you're doing when you're deciding to get this pen make sure you know how you like your pens hold it 
if you like her pens hold like M800, which is a little bit thicker, then this might not be the best choice because they might be too slim. If you like slimmer pens, then this is a great choice. I hope you like this review and thank you for watching. I'll be doing more comparisons with this pen to other pens like the Casabee 23, 71911, M800. And I will be doing a review of my Yukari Royale from Mickey soon. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.